Hello, rendering from the command line, it has a lot of benefits, uh, namely automation, batch rendering, and for me personally, um, just lower memory usage. I have come across that CUDA error quite a few times now, and this genuinely solves it for me. The downside being that you ha have to launch command prompt, you have to remember file paths for Blender, locations to your blend files, as well as a, a number of other commands and variables. But recently I came across a piece of software for Windows called GUI Command or Command GUI, and it basically just lets you set up this process automatically so you can create a nice user interface and just drag and drop your blend file across. So let's look at how to set that up. But first, this is just a quick overview on how it's done without this interface tool. So I click start and search for command. This launches the command prompt window. Then we type in CD space followed by the file path of our Blender executable. In my case, it is installed via Steam. Then hit enter and type blender.exe minus b. This makes sure it doesn't launch the Blender interface. And then we're going to use quotations here just in case we have any spaces in which I do and copy the location of our blend file from the security tab in properties. Then add dash a at the end just to signify it's an animation. You can also go to this web page to see all of the various commands and variables that you can use. And that was pretty quick to do, but this is even faster. So let's look at how to do it with the command GUI program. Faster to use, but takes a little bit of time to set up. So launching the program, we'll create a new script. We'll call it render animation. And we want a text field and we're going to do CD and then the file path to the directory of our Blender exe. And we're just going to create another text file and then enter just to mimic what we did in command prompt. Then blender.exe minus b so we don't launch the interface. And open quotations there so we can add our variable, which is a file, an input variable. We'll just call blender file. Okay, and with another text box. We're going to close the quotation and just do hyphen A to tell it that it is an animation. And then we can just click save, call it in my case, Blender anim uh, Render Animation. And we're done and that's it really. Um, this is our interface. You can launch it from wherever you saved it. Then just drag and drop our blend file on and hit run. Now this isn't a particularly complex setup and it doesn't replace a render manager, but what it does do is just function as a very handy drag and drop tool for rendering Blender files. And also because you don't have that Blender interface open and that extra bit of memory being used, I get less CUDA memory errors. Um, yeah, I found this really handy. Um, I do not know how to do this on Linux or Mac OS, but if you do, then it would be amazing if you could comment down below. And that is about it. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you also to the fantastic people that support me on Patreon. I've just recently got it set up. It's amazing. Um, I will be leaving some of my preset files that I've created on this uh, command GUI uh, program uh, for you to look at on Patreon, if you want to have that as a sort of jumping off point for setting up your own files. So I'll stop rambling. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.